Yes, uh, good afternoon. Uh, I would like to express my gratitude uh, to JF for inviting me again to this forum. And I wish to express my congratulations to PIDS uh, on their 40th year, 4-0. Uh, a pamphlet was distributed uh, detailing the history of PIDS. I hope you get to read that uh, pamphlet. So, this is the title of my presentation. Uh, I was a bit innovative in, in dealing with this topic. It's not my area of expertise. And I'm very glad that Toots Albert will come at the end. Uh, he will wipe out all the mess I will create. Uh, so the references I cite uh, or the basis for my presentation are three references. One is an OECD report. It's available online. Uh, Making innovation benefit all. Policies for inclusive growth. Then you have a uh, uh, publication by ADB, uh, the causes or con confronting rising inequality, citing reasons why inequality has been growing in Asia. And uh, this is the innovative part. I, I was able to uh, include uh, the issue about education in the Philippines. And I'm pleased that the authors of this uh, policy notes are here. Uh, they will answer all your questions. So we observed that inequality in Asia has been rising. And these are the data reported by ADB. They're a bit outdated, but it's clear. And one reason that inequality in Asia has been rising is that uh, the three most populous countries in the region have experienced a uh, sharp rise inequality, so referring to China, uh, India, and Indonesia. In the case of the Philippines, uh, our inequality has been fairly stable, but at a high level. Okay, so not much improvement in, uh, based on inequality in the Philippines. So the ADB study cites uh, reasons why uh, inequality has been rising, and this is one of them. Uh, increasing skill premiums and returns to human capital. Uh, you have a copy of the PowerPoint. I will not read through it. But you can see that it mentions here technology, okay? Uh, technological progress, which uh, brought more skill, uh, premiums to skilled labor, okay? And then another reason for the rise in inequality uh, is falling labor income shares. Okay, so technological pro progress, which is again mentioned here, okay, uh, appears to have favored capital over labor. But there's also the phenomenon that capital is not equally distributed, less equally distributed than labor. And this has contributed to rising inequality. So just to summarize, uh, you have inequality. Okay. Uh, no, you have innovation. You have innovation, uh, which has brought technological progress. And since the fruits of technological progress are not equally distributed, okay, so you have uh, labor with better skills that benefit, or capital that benefits and capital is not equally distributed, then you have rising inequality. And one clear example of this, in the case of the Philippines, is the BPO sector, or more formally, the Information Technology Enabled Services, IDES. And uh, this has been growing fairly rapidly in the past five to 10 years in the Philippines, but not all benefit. Uh, you have to have a college degree. You have to uh, speak English well, okay, in order to benefit from this phenomenon. So this is just an example. So the OECD has a framework on how uh, to make innovation and technology more inclusive. So inclusiveness in terms of uh, uh, firms uh, and sectors. So you have industrial inclusiveness. Uh, you have territorial inclusiveness, which refers to regions. So there are lagging regions. How do you make lagging regions catch up? Uh, and then you have social inclusiveness. Uh, I thought 10 minutes, no, I'm sorry. 
so, in terms of uh, industrial inclusiveness, this is where you try to address the barriers to entrepreneurship. So not all uh, have access to entrepreneurship. So you have to improve access to finance. Uh, you have to promote uh, networks between among industry, academia, and the government. Uh, you have to support business development in order to promote uh, industrial inclusiveness. In the case of territorial, in territorial inclusiveness, this is where physical infrastructure is important. Okay, connectivity. Okay, uh, you can also uh, promote te uh, technology parks in different parts of the country. Uh, I understand there's one being promoted now in uh, Negros Occidental. And then, how do you promote social inclu inclusiveness which involves people? So, you look at disadvantaged groups. And this is uh, where access to quality education is important, uh, grants, scholarships, and the like. And this brings me to a point that the OECD report made, that a cross-cutting issue among all three, uh, industrial uh, inclusiveness, uh, territorial inclusiveness, and uh, social inclusiveness is access to uh, higher education. It is a cross-cutting issue, okay? <coughs> So higher education systems can foster inclusive growth and technology trends can support this process. And in the case of the Philippines, uh, this is where I become innovative and simplify, uh, finesse this whole situation. The Philippines, we had made great progress in terms of access to education. And that is the UNIFAST, Republic Act 10687 in 2015. Uh, the Two authors are here, uh, Dr. Pakeo and Dr. Orbeta. Uh, so the main point was any student financing should always be a full financing program. It is a targeted subsidy for education. Okay? And to link it to the earlier panel about populism, this uh, uh, development, this uh, improvement in our education system was overridden by a populist measure. And you have universal access to quality ter tertiary education. Okay, uh, it, it, it's not a target subsidy. It has many flaws, right? And yet it was passed into law. Uh, Babes or Beta even had an article Mr. President, before signing the law, please read this. Uh, maybe he had no time. Uh, but what surprised me most is that one of the primary authors of this bill was supposed to be a pragmatic senator, was supposed to be a level-headed senator, and yet he promoted this bill. And I, I will bet you he's going to run for president what, 2020? Okay, so this is one issue wherein uh, you had already marked improvement in terms of access to education and yet it was overridden by populist measure. Okay, so uh, with that, I end my presentation and my useful thank you in East, my East Asian thank you to everyone. Maraming salamat